All right, so just here at our shop and we're checking a couple units and this one here had damage where the lock was cut off and the same tenant that owns that one owns this one and they were locked out and they cut through here to get their lock out because we locked them out with this plate here. Here's the plate. So they uh, took their stuff. You can see where they were going in and out. And they also left the whole set of keys around. I'm not gonna lie. That seems like an awful lot of keys. Yeah, it does. Hmm. hmm. So go ahead and hold on to those. Somebody's gonna need keys. Good morning, everyone. How are you doing on this beautiful Super, Super Bowl, Bowl Sunday. Sunday? Go Browns! And the crowd goes wild. Hey, was that a low blow? Just not TQ. <laughs> that that almost hurt my soul a little bit. Oh. We got the next best thing though. We got two Ohio teams, and when yes. I say that, original Ohio teams. Obviously, the Bengals are still from Ohio. And the Rams were originally from Cleveland. If you don't know that, now you know they moved to, I think, St. Louis, then L.A., or L.A., and then St. Louis. Yeah, I don't know the whole story. They're but in L.A. now. Yeah. So, <laughs> they're the L.A. Uh, LA Rams slash Brown slash, I don't even know. I'm, I'm, Anyways. Okay. Anyways. You guys yes. should check out what I have going on back here. You should. But first, as I mentioned in yesterday's video at the very end... We're going to go to the storage unit. Well, I'm going to go to the storage unit. TQ's going to stop by because she has to run and pick up a few more things for dinner tonight. We got friends coming over and we're going to have a little Super Bowl party. And uh, yeah, cheer on uh, the Ohio teams, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Go halftime. <laughs> I'm going to take you guys down. We have a ton of stuff going on at the storage facility this week. Security upgrades. Uh, Ken's down there, his guys. And then we're going to get into those storage units, like I mentioned yesterday, that a month ago the gentleman broke into, took all of his good stuff out. And I know some of you had concerns like, oh, how did we know it was him? Other than we have video evidence of him going in, he also cut our locks off and then he used his keys to open up his lock. So he took his locks off of two different units and then cut our locks off, you know, the door mechanisms that I've showed you guys. So uh, enough chit-chatting about that and yip yapping about that. I'm going to take you guys there. TQ is about to show you just a little bit of uh, what she has going on for Super Bowl dinner. So basically, I have corn on the cob, my son's request. We have an anti-pasta salad. Just what is anti-pasta salad for those that don't no know? No pasta. Exactly. No so pasta. everything else, yeah. just no pasta. And then we have some keto-friendly peanut butter bars. So basically, the base is almond flour and peanut butter, sugar-free peanut butter, and some sugar-free chocolate on top. And then we got us a pulled pork butt pulled on the pork. Traeger and, and uh, baked beans. Baked beans, yes. Yeah. And other little odds and ends. But yeah. I'm let's, excited. Let's get into this video though and go see if we find any golden stashes in this unit. Let's go. Units. Units. All right, pulling up here now. I don't see Ken and his guys, but uh, I'm sure oh, Ken's sitting in the van there. He must be taking a break. So uh, I'm going to be working on these two units the one in the middle is already cleaned out i'll be honest with you six by sixes in our area do not rent real well uh so yeah i don't know exactly what we're going to do here just yet but we have had very little interest in these everybody wants 10 by 10s and especially 10 by 20s all right so this is all ken stuff i have no idea about that but uh if you're new to the channel we had a tenant last month uh, cut his lock off here. Uh, this is a, one of our new locks, so we'll just take it off real quick. So red means we locked him out. And uh, we use this for knowing which units are empty and available for new customers as well. Uh, and then we also use it for red lockout plates that go over here with a red lock. It just lets the customer know, hey, non-payment, uh, you've been locked out. So. Uh, a tenant of ours right here we can see the damage and over here he cut the locking mechanisms off of this one and that's what he left in here okay so i did see a craftman box over there we have not been in these at all because of legality issues so uh, i'm not assuming there's any value even though i do see a craftman box we'll dig into that in one second maybe we'll have a drill in there he uh forgot and yeah 
we'll uh, make some of our money back. So this one's empty and available. And this one here is his other unit that he decided to break into. I'm trying to film here for you guys with uh, one hand. So like I said, we have not been in these, just seen what was left in them from when he broke in. So we did consider consider renting or uh, auctioning this unit off because there were three totes there that we have no idea what's in them. But uh, simply we just decided we're going to trash everything. I guess I got a new gas can maybe. Just kidding, we don't use those ones. All right guys, wanted to talk with Ken real quick, make sure I wasn't gonna block him off, but he's not leaving anytime soon. Uh, so I went ahead and got the truck here pulled a bit closer uh, just so I can get easier access into here. So. Got about $500 worth of drywall. No, I'm just kidding. Garbage. Pull this out because I'm going to need it here in one second. I've never done this before. I should have brought my head mount. So a lot going on at the storage facility right now and a lot more going to be going on. Uh, it's just a process really. So we're uh, value adding here, I should say. Security, all the good stuff. Let's go. All right, moment of truth. What do you guys think? Empty or full with a Craftman drill or something? empty i ain't even got to open it up i will though just never know somebody might have stuck a million bucks in there anybody need a craftman box garbage hey you got a nice mailbox anybody want to buy a mailbox Oh. Huh. I don't know, guys. What do you think? It's a necklace of some sort. I'm assuming a necklace. I think it's garbage. It's not heavy enough, I don't think, to be gold. But I'll check, just to be sure. Oh, really? So you like, modified a bunch of stuff in here. Decided to go ahead and speed all this up. Honestly, it was just junk, a lot of it. I mean, he did some modifications here inside, like bolting things to the walls. And I think we're going to take care of that before we do rent this unit out to another person. Simply put another sheet of metal, like here on the right-hand side, on that left-hand side. Was a heavy window. Let's move on. 
So this one, there's a chance he may have overlooked something. He was definitely in a hurry. Nothing in that box. So if you guys can't see what I'm picking up, there's these little nails all over the place and I'm not trying to get one of these in my foot. It's in here. Thomas Kincaid. Oh. More garbage. Love is patient, love is kind. So you got some cards. Got some fancy shoes. <laughs> All kinds of women's shoes. This guy's let me down. This looks like a wig. Hey, you never know. Broken picture frame. I don't even know if you guys can see this. Let me bring you. under the wrong sign. My luck is always running blind. Okay, enough of that. See some pictures here real quick. I'm not gonna share personal stuff. Hey, it's pictures of our guy. The guy that literally broke into our unit. That's funny. careful looking through and stuff. Nice wool broken. Some Indian uh, memorabilia. Those are actually kind of cool. Made in China. Not seeing anything of value. Oh. AA meetings. <laughs> Alright, nothing of value in here that I see. But we can't put all the garbage in here. So that's a little bit of a relief.
So we still got two boxes left here. Let's uh, go through them, I guess, one at a time. Let me uh, get this cleaned out here a little bit real quick. All right, let's uh, check out the next one, see if we can find any goodies. Hey, Easter is coming up, right? This thing kind of had me worried when I first lifted that box off. I saw a head, a doll full hair. This thing's actually glass. Huh. Don't know nothing about dolls. Hey, got a pump. One of those little foot pumps. Ugh, somebody could use it. I have no use for it. Another one of those dolls. I don't know nothing about dolls, guys. They're really pretty. Go figure. Shredded wheat. Another doll. Figurine. Bunch of broken stuff, like a face thing. Garbage. All right. Oh. This one's actually heavy. And it says on it, a bunch of different stuff. Mary's, Jamie's. Definitely not the name of our tenant that's in this. Room, so, oh man. <laughs> well, that saves me from having to go through all these, but uh, I'll kind of glance through real quick just for a trip down memory lane. My goodness. VHS. <laughs> oh man. That's crazy. Oh boy, hold on a second. Hold on. Death Row. They're going to be at the Super Bowl tonight. Or Snoop Dogg about Death Row right now, right? I believe so. Check this out though. Might be a little value in here, even of, even if uh, nothing else is. Oh, that is. So, never told you guys, but back in the day, I actually used to buy and sell a lot of stuff on eBay and Amazon and everything. So, VHS players are actually highly, highly sought after. So, I am going to try this to see if it works. There's a tape in it. That's a good sign. I don't know what the name is. Sports Illustrated, 75th anniversary. I don't know. Oh, we got a vinyl record. The early years. The great stars of the 30s and 40s. Russ Morgan, Frankie Carey, Dick Powell, Kay Kaiser, Kate Smith, Mildred Bailey, Fred Esther, Buddy Clark, I've heard about Buddy Clark, Gene Autry, Gracie Phillips, Harry James, Dinah Shore. Bookmark, Tupac. Some kind of sweeper belt. Dwight Yoakam, still in the wrapper. That's gotta have a few dollars worth of value. Power Rangers! I was worried about this, oh. All right, so I can't show you guys what's in here. We have, uh, we have paraphernalia in here, things that sticky stick. So that's why I was being extremely careful as it was. Hey, you never know. So I'm gonna be very careful reaching in here. 
the running man. can't show these. I'm going to blur this whole section out here while I move them. Okay, so these look okay. Bats. What cell phone is that from? stuff in here guys so put that back in there it's all this thing I was trying to get to Winston-Salem North Carolina I think it's garbage Premier lens. Alright, so there's a bunch more garbage and stuff in there. value in these VHS tapes. Let me put the uh, ones back in there. Man, this guy couldn't give me a death row CD. Give me some burnt stuff. So, so we got paraphernalia in there. And a Las Vegas. I'm not gonna lie, I thought this was a urn at first. Didn't find anything I can retire from. <laughs> I was holding out hope for a couple totes, you know, to have those millions. You have a bunch of millions. Yeah, I mean, I hear of totes of gold and stuff. Gold traffic points. <laughs> That's kind of like gold, I guess. First time for everything, and for myself, this is the first time I've ever cleaned out storage units. I will say I learned some things. Probably definitely get the head cam out next time so I can bring you guys in a little bit closer and I don't have to keep stopping to move the camera out of the way. But I do want to say I use extreme caution as well, guys. You just don't know what's in this stuff and you don't want to get poked with anything if you know what I'm saying. So let's move on. All right, guys. So I have myself a truckload of junk that's got to go to the dump first thing tomorrow and got ourselves a pork butt super bowl sunday yeah can't wait hope you guys enjoyed today's video as always keep plowing keep salting keep making money boys we'll talk to you later tq out peace bye bye